Many of you have probably heard of redirected walking. If not, redirected walking is a technique to make it so the user can explore a VR space that is larger than their real life space. The user is tricked where they think that they're walking in a straight line and this is what they see in VR, but in real life they are actually walking in circles. There is also manual redirected walking where when the user reaches the end of their play space, they manually freeze the virtual environment and turn around. Software is used to do this. For example, if the user turns 10 degrees, then the user's VR viewpoint will be turned a little bit more than that, say 13 degrees. Let's say we had a shoe with a motorized turntable on the bottom. So when the motor turns the turntable, it turns like this. And when the user is on one foot, the shoe can turn the user. Set up a little demo to show how this might work. Here I have five turntables on the ground. I'd probably prefer for the turning to be a bit more gradual than what I show here, but I only have five turntables lying around, and I think this illustrates the main idea. You can see that every other step I am stepping on a turntable and turning myself a little bit. So in VR, I would think I'm walking in a straight line, but I'm actually walking in a circle. The turntable slash VR shoe device could turn me every other step, so the device can correct my real life direction a lot more than with traditional redirected walking. So that was walking forward, but what about strafing? Well, here it is. You're probably wondering if I'm getting dizzy. With the forward walking, I did get a bit dizzy after a minute, but strangely, I didn't get dizzy at all when I was strafing. When I got dizzy from the forward walking, I turned around and walked the other way, and this alleviated most of my dizziness. So to help combat dizziness, maybe instead of walking in a circle, walk in a figure eight. You can see that I'm fortunate enough to have a lot more play space that could be utilized. Maybe this could work in a smaller play space too, if the user takes smaller steps. And I think in most games you'll be starting and stopping a lot, which will help with the dizziness too. You're probably also wondering how it feels to be turned on top of these turntables. I, I did notice it, but I think in the middle of a game I wouldn't really mind it. It might take some getting used to, but this quick test makes me optimistic that it might work. And other people have gotten used to manual redirected walking, and this doesn't seem much different than that. One thing I want to call out that I think is important is the way that the turntable turns your foot matters a lot. So with my right foot, it's much more comfortable if the turntable turns to the outside, so right foot turns to the right, or the left foot turns to the left. If I go the other way, then it feels a lot more awkward. So I go like this, and then if I turn my foot to, to the inside, my body just kind of wants to keep going, and I just I more twist at the ankle as opposed to letting my whole body turn. So I wanted to just call that out. Maybe something to keep in mind for this technique is to only rotate the user every other step. There's a lot of things that excite me about this concept. The first being it sounds simple and hopefully cheap to build. It's essentially a shoe with a turntable and a motor. Now, that is a bit of an oversimplification because you'll need a sensor to know when the shoe is on the ground. You'll need to handle the shoe rolling as the person is walking and the different weight distribution that happens as the person goes from most of their weight being on their heel to most of their weight being on the toes. But I think things like that are manageable. In addition, a device like this might also be stable enough to use without a safety harness, maybe be able to be used on carpet, probably lightweight, probably quiet, and probably pretty durable. I'm also thinking maybe you could take a VR shoe like this that I've made in the past and put a motor or two in it so that it can negate forward and backward motion, but then also use the redirected walking technique here. So maybe the shoe could turn itself like this or like this to turn the user, as well as negate forward and backward motion. Or maybe you could put a turntable as on the shoe or inside the shoe as part of it so that the user could be turned without the shoe underneath of it um, being turned. So I'm excited about that too. So in the near future, I will be working on two VR shoes, one that just spins the user when they're on one foot, and the other is taking this VR shoe and motorizing it, but also making it so that it can turn the user as well. And when I have uh, something to share about those two devices, I'll make another video. So, hope to see you then.